Hello everyone. In the previous video, we moved our validation logic from controller to a form request. So now the time is to save data into the database. So let's go to the controller, this store method. And here I'm going to store the data into the categories and uh, gallery table. So first let me uh, make them fillable, make their model fillable. So first let's go to the post controller, not controller, I'm going to the post model. Okay, and here I'm going to add a property of protected. Okay, protected and let's make this uh, fill able so this property exists on the model which is used to make your application to avoid any of the columns uh, which you not edit here so these will not be filled out right in the database so that is a security to prevent the prevent the insertion if you you don't want to insert data into the columns or maybe someone uh, guess your table uh, column names and they will push your data and save this into your database so this is a security uh, this is added for the security so i will always recommend you to add this fillable not to add this protected guarded property where you are accepting all the column so don't use this if you want to add uh, three columns just add them if you are inserting into the three columns just add the three columns here in our case we are inserting into the all one that's why i'm going to add them all so let's go to the cms and go to the post table okay so we have a category id and we have a gallery id we added this gallery id and a category id and then we have a title and description title and description and uh, is publish okay is publish right is publish that's it and let me copy this out and let's go to the gallery model which contain an image right here so i'm going to pass an image save this one so let me verify it that we are containing an image yes we are containing this an image so you don't need to fill this created data updated data and id because these are pre-filled okay so let's close this model let's close this out and here now i'm going to store my all of uh, all of the attribute into the database so here i'm going to call this post model right and then i'm going to simply uh, call the create method so you don't need to do anything insert into and stuff like that so this will add this so uh, behind the scene so here you need to pass your data in the array format so your first key would be the your database key database column right like in case uh, i'm going to i want to add the data into this category id so i need to mention here category oops category id and then in the value you need to pass your value which is coming from the form so how you can get the value from the form so you need to call this uh, request and uh, here i'm going to get the category which is a uh, attribute name in the form so let me show you okay it's uh, this one uh, not this one where it is it's this one right okay and then when i'm going to i'm going to also get the gallery id so your question rise that gallery id does not exist right so how we can get the gallery id so i think it's a good way to store first post and then uh, get the post id and then it store it into the uh, store it into the database or you can apply here i will use a db transaction so i will also explain that why we use this uh, db transaction and what's the purpose so basically db transaction is used for you know, if you have two dependent records like in our case we want to add the post and we want to also add the image into the gallery table and if this uh, 
uh, image was added image is added into the galleries table but post is not uh, created due to any of the reason so then uh, db transaction will roll back the first one galleries also because we are we, uh, we are going to insert the dependent records so that's the purpose of uh, db transaction so here i'm creating this post right and then i'm going to uh, I will add this in the db transaction. So first, of all, let me fill the other keys. Oops. Let me cut this out. So here I'm going to add this is publish. So what's the value of this is publish? So it's a is publish. Okay. So what's the key? I'm going to get the now title. So title would be the request and the request title, right? and here i'm going to get the description and uh, what's the name of our description input so it would be a description so this is our text area okay so what's the remaining here description is there publish is there title is there gallery id is remaining right so first i'm going to create here gallery id right so basically we are going to insert our image into the gallery table right so then we are going to store the gallery id here so first let's uh, comment this out we are going to store the gallery so you can add your gallery id uh, not here you can add your post id into the gallery table if you don't want to do this uh, follow this convention right we want to uh, first create the post and then store the image into the galleries table but i want to first create the galleries uh, table uh, i want to store image into the galleries and then i want to create the post so here i'm going to uh, first check that if our request contain the image request and uh, has has i think uh, has uh, we name this file right so let me make sure that we have this file so dd here Oh, yes or we can let me store this into the file well here so i'm going to print this out here it will be a file right so now let's go here and uh, upload a file here so i'm going to choose a file and submit this why well, it's not submitting this out support is chosen this one is also chosen okay it's submitting okay it's returning true so it means that uh, our this file is uploaded and it's returning true okay so now uh, actually i want to get this uh, i'm checking that if this is file so don't need to add this into the variable because i want to get the file object right so here i'm going to get the file object like i want to get the file into the request and this request contain a file and here i'm going to dd this out uh, not this one i'm going to dd this file right okay so now let's so give it a refresh and check that we'll uh, uh, get uh, an image temp image yes we are getting this image and we are having these things right so now we have a temporary image which is stored in the system and we want to save this into the our project right and we also want to store this into the database so how we can store this so there are a variety of ways so you can set this you can use store as you can use facade or it's a store image into laravel where you can follow some blog or you can read it from the laravel documentation right store publicly and there are much more method available here so let's visit to uh, these outs. okay it's statsmake.com okay it's opening first so here uh, we need to 
implement our logic so basically we are going to first to get the image name so we can get this from get to client original name and uh, then we can save this uh, into a variable and then we will um, copy its boss and then combine them into the at once okay why well, it's not loading this out so let me go there both ones are taking time man okay so this one is using uh, controller and this controller is uh, using this store helper to store this out so basically we need the uh, image name and we also want to store this into the database so how we can get this name so we can get this name by calling this get client original name and then we can uh, store this uh, same thing into the database as a store and uh, let me go there and yes and then we need to store this image into the our database so let me check out here so this is using store as method so you can use both of the ones it's totally upon you so you can also use the move method so move is very simpler first you need to pass the path and then you need to pass the image so here now you can also generate uh, the image name with the extension and move this into the database okay so uh, which one i should use this one or this one i'm going to use this one it's a uh, simple it's uh, both are very simple so here we need to uh, specify the path and here we need to get the name and then we need to uh, store this uh, into the database okay let's get started so here we have a file and i want to get the file name so i'm going to name this like oops make this always camel case it's your personal preference but uh, most of the developer follow this camel case okay i'm going to call this uh, on file object so here i'm going to get to client original name so let me copy this method properly maybe i'm doing some typo mistake oops let me copy it here it is what the hell is this man okay let's roll back paste it out here and yes and check that we are getting any name or not so file name okay so let's uh, give it a refresh and yes we are getting this name and one more thing you need to add uh, some unique name so here i'm going to call this time right so why i'm calling this time because i want to concat to this time with this uh, name right basically i want to generate the unique file name that's why i'm uh, adding this time so it will uh, generate this uh, time like this in the integer format like this so every time when some second change so this value will be changed and this uh, image will be generated image name will be generated uh, uniquely right so that's why i'm doing this like this okay so uh, we generated this name and now i want to uh, first move this into the our project and then i want to add this into the database so how we can move this into the project 